Tuesday morning. Got the combine going. We're gonna empty this shed because the seed dressers are coming to clean the barley seed. So we want some flat concrete to set them up on and clean concrete. It's supposed to be half a mil of rain today. Don't know when, but it, I might be able to get some spray done hopefully because it is quite still. And I've got to bed with wet hair, so I've got bed head. John's gonna pull it out, Rob's gonna move his van. Morgan's gone for some pallet tires. I'm gonna move this as well. I'm gonna show you this. This is a bonded diesel tank. So because it's double bonded, you don't need a, a, a license to move fuel around. So uh, we're gonna take it off the pallet a bit, show you how that works. I never look what that if that pigeon's jumped off. Well he's not there. I don't know where he is. He must have jumped off this morning. And the engine fired up maybe. Do we put it out on the tractor really and spreading some fertilizer while it's off still? If all else fails, we could get the boom spreader out. It's cold this morning again. Uh, seagulls, the last night, 25 minutes of seagulls unsettled flying over. John O'Dixon rung me this morning. He lives on Sunk Island, so there's like loads of seagulls there by the sea. And he said that happens when they get a tremor. So whether there'd been an earth tremor or some sort of explosion or something that they'd heard and we hadn't and that's what unsettled them and why they're flying around i don't know anyway, i'm gonna get this beast and uh put the dump trailer on it for putting the tailings in which is the little bits of grain that we're gonna um, sieved out of it oh i didn't show you i normally did a cold start but it is such a good start of this tractor oops wrong gear not a forwards one a bit dusty. Because it has an opening back bottom window, you can access it with the pitch relatively well. Got it there, are we? Yeah. full of water hopefully it'll dry out by the time we need it I'll tip it up a bit anyway get the water out a bit quicker and then need to dump the air brakes there's no air brakes on this tractor just tip it up now and see what's in it if anyone wants any sand for the cow cubicles Nick's got quite a bit of our yard anyway let's see See how dry this is. Oh, it's fairly clean, it just needs brushing. Can anyone guess where the brush has been? This is that raw. DPD have just arrived, and I think they were bringing Top Trumps cards, so we're gonna go and see. It wasn't Top Trumps, it was a new solder and I in the office trucks here now we've left that drying after it's been jet washed drop that down you put the auger out that side for all the little bits of grains that we don't need this ones that will be cracked or won't grow then we'll take the bags off this side of the good stuff and then we'll bring a trailer in the back here to feed it rob and me dad are just doing a bit of double chip i've just done the john deere now i'm going to take this round to feed the cleaner Morgan's took the drill off, we won't be using that for a bit. I'm gonna put the fern spreader on now, try and get some urea spread. I'll show you more closer in a minute, but I'm just still on the combine, you've got a good view. So the grain's going in there, going through all the sieves. This is the stuff it's cleaning out of it. So if you look, from about 10% coming out of small grain. That's going into that trailer, and then the other side it's going into bags. Rob's using the mill and shipping. John's got some fertiliser on this one now and my dad's on that one but we need another one moving the bags off the seed cleaner it is a four Merlot kind of day but we've only got three so the barley drops in there 
goes on the auger. He goes through that way, he shakes it through these different size plates. Then it goes through that and it's hoovered. All the rubbish out of it. Then it goes along up here, up there. And then comes out that auger into the bags. On board with Morgan. This wheat behind the yard looks relatively good apart from the heavens are a bit rubbish. But the problem is, even where it looks good, I'm just telling him as well that it, it's not rooted very deep, it's not needed to because it's been getting moisture ever since it's been sown. But the roots will probably only be about that big. So if we get some dry weather in June like we had last year, it'll just die off because it can't find the moisture in the soil. But at the moment, there's plenty of moisture in the soil. It's not really see it splashing it's not really ideal conditions for putting this on we could do a little bit drier but we're trying to use up the stuff that's not got the abated stuff on it because apparently it's going to gas off the ammonia even though the turtle temperature never gets to 16 degrees in the uk but that's the law that we've got to go to so we're putting this on today because by so we can put it on in, in non less than ideal conditions legally but we can't put it on in ideal conditions legally after the first of april crackers yeah, parts of it look okay. But then over there when it's flooded, it's just starting to come green and showing the rows now. So simple, aren't they, first spreaders? The trailer's nearly empty now, so I'm gonna get the bucket and top it up. Yeah, I'll put a few more scoops in and keep him going tip this in now and then we'll tip the trailer back up and we'll keep going until we've gotten on left I suppose and then hope for some dry weather so we can sew it it's not took them long though I think they've done about 10 ton already in about an hour I'm getting this hopper out it's got some ball in it we were keeping for seed as well so take it around we should be able to put it straight in the cleaner lots of people ask me where it came from well there you go had a few people in the last month or so everyone must be tidying up and putting bits of things in in these it's going to be great for cover crop seeds to be fair because you've got such low volumes of them that's bag 21 coming off we're just cleaning a lot now, and if we don't sew it, we can put it back in the pile. Well, in fact, we clean it all, we're not dressed any of it. Don't want to be expensive, it's going to fail. Hopefully, we want about 24 tonne if we get everything drilled that we want. Should just have enough with what's left in there, what's in that, just depends. It's like a factory on wheels, isn't it, that? Stand back here. That could be today's thumbnail. It's probably the most interesting thing that's happened today. If you're watching Morgan, when you finish with the jet wash, turn the tap off. A bit neat. You know, we might, might end up with a hosepipe band soon. This has just arrived from Charmin's. So hopefully it's the bits for the quad track. We've got the exhaust clamp. Uh, the rubber bung, no, the bolt, what are they for? Not sure. Oh, sway block, isn't it? Um, gaskets, that's the rubber bung for the steps. Um, I don't know where the sway block is. Is it in the bottom? Yeah, it's in the bottom there. Bump in the bottom, and then the bushes for the linkage. So, hopefully. Now fit the linkage, we'll go and try them now. Amazon have just been as well and the guy was taking a picture of the seed cleaner and the John Deere. It's like, you can watch what it's doing later on YouTube, so he's uh, just subscribed, getting another subscriber. Let's see, is this going to fit? It's nice and snug that, isn't it? it? can rattle a little bit though. I suppose the weight of the machine, it'll be alright and then hopefully that will fit the top one. 
bit, isn't it? It's better. We go drilling now. The clay. To All done now. Mm. On here. Just go forwards. And then there's just that little bit out of the hopper to do next. Alright, ain't it? Give it a smile. Some parcels have been delivered. And this one, it says on it, winning moves. That's who makes top trump cards. Use a trusty solace key. Right. Gonna go take that. Top trumps tractors. Have a look. They're just finished off now, so it's rattling a bit as it's empty. Oh, that's a display case, isn't it? Yeah. Whew. Yeah, it looks like it's the wrong ones. 26 of the 6, 23, when they were making them last, last week. So they obviously got loads of um, kill tractors in. But I can't find me in them. Well, he's just using the tool to open the bags. Same climbing up, getting in all the dust. We're running the tyres low so that we don't um, make too much mess. But as you can see by the state of the wheels, John's just off out to do a bit more roundupping, and we can go on to liquid fur later on. Done a few hours now that tractor and the pedal was quite long for the brake so 19 mil just give them half a turn. The pedal feels a lot nicer now. This tractor now is completely covered in dust. I'm just back in back in the trailer in the shed of the sort of the light grains. It's got about four ton of light grains in it. So don't know if anyone wants it for the ducks or the cows. Rob's off next week for my dad. I've been doing some double chip. I'm freighting the bay up. So, got a first stock on now. Got a strap, John tried spraying the field off. We knew it was wet. Thought he might have got through, but he's not. So, I'm gonna go now and tow him out with the big strap. Got a strap there. Got a big shackle, there's another big shackle. Bottle of water, can of coke for John, can of iron brew. Uh, there's another shackle at Wellbrook. On the 936, so I'll grab that one on my way and uh, hopefully it'll be long enough that I'm not in the wet hole. Apparently, it's gone through, it's just the back end that's dropped down. But there's the back wheels, probably got the weight of the boom on because the tank's pretty empty now, so probably would cut in there. This hasn't turned a wheel in probably a fortnight now for that. Anyway, I'll grab this shackle. Sheep update. There they all are. In fact, there might still be some over there as well. Yeah. I think they've all been born now, all the lambs. Meh. Still pretty wet, this field. That potato, so it's last year, so it's kind of bottomless. Quite a bit of grass weed, though, chitted, so. I can spray that off. This is going to be beans next when it dries up. This is where we were messing around with that drain in the wood the other week. You know, where we put the thing through the culvert to clean it. It's dried up a lot, but it's still obviously pretty spongy. So, hopefully I can pull him out forwards when I get to. I think we'll drill this with the, with the quad track with the clay knot, and then it'll kind of hover over the wet patches yeah he avoided the wet patches went down the side of it but it was still a bit soggy look at this here we're stood up not a problem jumping go there straight in but it all looks the same so two shackles to the drop legs long rope hopefully i'll be well in the dry bit 
But yeah, he's just gone down the edge of this here. This has worked as well in the autumn. See the regrowth though, can't you? A lot of it's meadow grass. See the potato tops as well. Like bean horn. Yeah, it just kind of, it's all the water coming out the ground now and the vibration just dropped through into some sand underneath. As soon as it pulled it out the rut, it's all right now. It's sitting on the top perfectly. In other news, the mustard cover crop has uh, not been killed off by the frost. It normally does, but being so close to the river, um, it's probably not had a frost here, so it's carried on growing and it's now flowering. Looking at this field of wheat that we sowed first, that doesn't look too bad whatsoever. Uh, a few volunteer beans where we put the header on, but we'll knock them out with some herbicide. Uh, next door they were supposed to be planting potatoes, which is too wet for them to get on as well. The forecast has now forecast 14 mil of rain overnight, plus another 4 mil tomorrow. So. We'll be back to square one with anything that's dried in the last 24 hours. This was the field I topped down on Sunday. It's drying splendidly. You can see where it's not been topped down in the gateway. How wet and sticky that is, but that's dried really nice. Big problem is, that's also going to get the 14 mil of rain tonight. Well, that was good timing. Morgan turned up with a fertilised spreader exactly the same time Rob turned up with the telehandler and I turned up to pick Rob up and take him back to the yard because we'll leave that telehandler up here so he can load himself. Let's get these out the back of the shed now. We've got to watch that frame though. See the frame up there. just fit underneath. We've not got a bag lifter with us. Just go down a bit. Down a bit. Down. Joe put these in here. I don't know how he's done it. It's close that. Have to like go on, keep going. Just have to roll the bags down slightly, down a bit. Go on back a bit now. Right, go up again. Go on, go on. Hope they don't swing too much. Yeah, they're all right. Close that. At least we can get them ones a lot easier anyway. Just a quick quiz question for today. What are them plastic blocks for in the front of the combine? It's got them either side. If you think you know, let me know in the comments. Got to quickly do the birthday bumble. We got George Lumley is one day old. Connor Norris is 37. Dear, now hold on. Dear Med. Gary is 14. Wayne Green's 45. Lucy Green's 21. Mike Carr is 61. Met him, I think, at Lama. David Morris is 42. And we're now 63,050 pounds. Um, 63,000 pound is an unbelievable amount of money when you think about it, really. Just in the last, I think, 
about two years of reading out people's birthdays. Like, just think about it. Just like imagine that, how many cars that would buy. And that's just from doing that little simple thing that a lot of people fast forward. Anyway, I'm just gonna start locking up now. It's starting to go dark. Um, looks, looks quite bright on the camera. John's just on his way back to the yard. Morgan's just finishing the last field off. It's starting to spit as well with rain, which is a bit annoying. Um, we've still got a little bit of fertiliser left to spread. We'll just have to see what rain passes and then get on. The next block of land we've got to do does lie a bit dry. We've done the worst bit. The bits today we've done are the bits we expect to get wet quicker. Um, so hopefully uh, we've got some fertiliser on, on that skyfall that we sown, that skyfall wheat which was sown 15, 16 days, no, 14, 15, 16, 16 or 17 days ago. So hopefully that's now going to get feed washed in tonight with the rain and start growing quick because we need to go quick because it isn't long till harvest. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the quiz question of the day about wrapping the rope around the equator. What, how much longer would it need to be? Six and a third feet. So not much at all. Just sort of a little bit bigger than me, maybe. Um, would be all you would need if you wrapped a rope right around the equator but then lifted it up all around the equator for a foot of slack it's basically 2 pi r if you want to know the maths behind it i think it is not much at all anyway thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow